Well, how about this for a beautiful fisherman's dawn? The mist is rising off the river and above it I can see a beautiful blue sky. I'm here near the upper tidal limits of the Hawkesbury River, not too far from Windsor, with professional fishing guide Paul Hendricks and we're out for a morning of bass fishing. You know, this Hawkesbury Nepean River system really defines the outer limits of Sydney to both the north and the west and it's played an immensely important role in the history of Australia's biggest city. We've poured a fair bit of abuse on the poor old Hawkesbury in the last 200 years and it says something about the resilience of this amazing river system that it continues to produce as many fish as it does, including a lot of bass up here in these upper brackish and freshwater reaches. Let's see if we can find a few for you this morning. We're about to fall in here or? Yeah, one in just tight there, so. Actually, being a bright day, it'll be quite, uh, quite nice in the middle of the day with the sun on it, and you can actually see right through as the, the weeds and that. Ooh, oh yes, he's on. Shit. Beautiful, Steve. Ooh. Well done. <laughs> See that when I started to pull it a bit quicker yeah. and it dived under. Yeah, a little bit of difference in, <laughs> in speed return. <laughs> nice big flash then when he took it. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Well, the sun's starting to sneak up over the hill. We've had a few lookers and we finally hooked up on a nice bass on the fly. I picked up the fly because there's some pocket water in here behind the weed beds, between the shore and the weed bed. And one of the best ways to work that sort of water is with a floating fly line uh, and a, a fly like this Dalberg diver that I'm using. This is quite a nice little bass. He's really swallowed that fly. Certainly has. I'll get you to pick him up for me, Paul. Uh, Lovely fish. Chunky, aren't they? Very nice. Uh, Beautiful. What a chunky little bass. Fantastic. Mm. Listen, while I hold him, yeah. I might get you to get the fly out if you've got a mm -hmm. pair of pliers there. This is a fairly large fly that we're using here. It's a spun deer hair fly called a Dalberg Diver. One of the absolute classic bass fishing flies. Look at that. And we've got a weed guard on it to stop it getting snagged up and weeded. And uh, a nice big broad gape hook there, fine wire. And he's just woofed it down. He's taken that to be a little cicada or a frog or something swimming on the surface of the water. And that's a lovely little Australian bass. Nice way to get started. And as you can see, a lot of fun on the fly rod. Yes. Oh. Oh. On that edge. <laughs> now it's interesting this, a lot of people get fixated on the idea 
and just fishing hard in against the banks all the time, working those shadowy banks. We've come out here virtually into the middle of the river and we're working the edges of the weed beds. Now he's only a little bass, but boy, did he hammer that spinner bait. Little fish of about probably 27, 28 centimetres. And I'm just working the edges of this weed bed that's right in the middle of the river. And really the only efficient ways to fish it are with a spinner bait or with a surface lure or a surface fly. If you put on your diving lures, they're going to go straight down into the weed and foul up. So it's a good little tip, this one. Don't get locked into the idea that all bass live hard along the bank because they don't. Now, I'll just get the hook out of this bloke. We're using barbless hooks. We've crushed the barbs down partially or all the way, and they come out really easily so you don't do the fish any harm. <laughs> Cute little fish. I'll get him back in the water. As you probably realise, we're quite close to an Air Force base here at Richmond, and these big Hercules are going over doing exercises all day. Adds an interesting dimension to the fishery. Ah. Oh, look at him trying to dive into that weed. <laughs> what a little beauty. I tell you what, they might not be the biggest fish in the world, but they are full of fight. He's been into the weed, as you can see. He's picked a bit up on the spinnerbait. Beautiful, dark little fish. Look at all this salad hanging off the spinnerbait here. That's where he came from, down amongst that stuff. Let's get a jaw grip on him. And pop those hooks out. What you've got to be really careful with these blokes, they've got a very nasty spine here on the, uh, the gill cover on both sides. And it's covered in a mucus that actually causes quite a bit of irritation. It's mildly venomous. And the old hand thumps a bit if you get that in you. It's also got some spines in the dorsal fin and in the leading edge of the anal fin here, but they're not so bad. It's those ones on the gills you've got to watch out for. And the smaller the bass, the spikier they seem to be. He's a beautiful little fish. But what a great little fish that is. Oh, I better get him back into the water. Oh! <laughs> well, what a fantastic morning it's been. Beautiful day here. We're only an hour from the central business district of Sydney catching fish like these bass doesn't get much better than this. I'll tell you what, if you're looking for somewhere to go fishing not too far from Sydney, a pleasant day on the water, check out Paul Hendricks Bass Fishing Safaris because they're first class. <laughs>